demonstrate how to change the inner tube on a flat tire and we're also going to replace the tire itself because this one is bald. To do this we need a set of bicycle levers. These are metal bicycle levers. They're available on Amazon.com. They've got a rounded end used for prying so you don't pop your new inner tube when you're installing it. Got a 16 inch 16 by 175 replacement inner tube. It's already partially inflated and ready to go. And this is the new tire. It's by Kenda. It's a Japanese company. Tires are black mountain bike tires. They wear better than the original manufacturer's tires and they don't show the dirt as much so I prefer the black. Now you use your bicycle levers, put them in here and pry the flat tire from the frame. Once you get them partially pried off, you can just separate the old tire and the flat from the frame. Those are both going in the garbage. Now you take your new inner tube that's partially inflated and insert that in the new tire. You can try and install a flat new tube in the frame. It's very difficult to get it in there. When it's partially inflated, you just insert it. Remove the valve stem cover. Find the hole for the valve stem on the rim. Insert that, put the cover on. If you try to do this afterwards, it's a little more difficult, so it's best to insert the valve stem cover first. And you can get the tread going into the frame. Some of it by hand as you go along, it gets more difficult, and then you're back to using the pry tool. Tools come in sets of threes. You can usually do it with just three tools, but if you have six, it does make the job easier. You just work your way around the frame. Once the new tube and tire are on there, you're ready to inflate the new inner tube to 40 PSI and put the tire back on the x-ray machine.